Hello, my soccer universe. Thanks to a very long weekend, I have some time to actually do a few more review videos on the midweek action. Today, now I'm gonna do Austria and Germany, and we will be doing, and I will be doing the Spain, uh, France, Portugal one because I think they are more, they happened more than um, in England and the Netherlands, and there has, has not, also not been a full round played in England, so uh, I decided to do it this way. And maybe uh, if the Premier League schedule works out well, we can get to a nice video already on Monday. So that's uh, at least what I'm hoping for. But we are talking now uh, Austria and Germany. I will start in Austria where I lost all the frustrations that uh, were built up were just thrown onto wall. Wolfsburg, which is anyway one of the, our favorite opponent. 4-0 win, rather, rather easy. And of course, Salzburg uh, beat Rapid to crown themselves again champions ever since, I think, 2013. The last time was the last time that there was no uh, champion called Salz Salzburg. It's getting a little bit boring, I have to say. And yeah, uh, but it, I, I knew that in such a compact quick season, Salzburg squad is just way deeper than everyone else. Um, we also had a big decider in relegation that we will look at. And yeah, uh, also for the promotion playoffs, it seems like Austria Vienna might actually snatch that one up. Um, but we also have to see in Germany where Hertha got a, a win that more or less relieves it from all relegation trouble, which is huge. I mean, Hertha's comeback was actually quite, quite big uh, after this Corona break. Um, and they seem to be rather safe at the moment. And of course, the big one, the German Cup final, uh, which Dortmund completely obliterated Leipzig in many, 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 many ways. And most importantly, I think Haaland posterized Upamecano uh, when scoring the second goal for Dortmund. Although I think the stars of the show were not necessarily Haaland, but Marco Reus and Jadon Sancho. On, the, on to the games. Uh, as I said, I want to start in Austria because uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and then we'll go to Germany. The Probably the biggest matchup of the All-Around was, well, was in relegation, the matchup between St. Pölten and Alta, which is an absolute must-win for St. Pölten. I have to say, uh, of all the teams that are down on the bottom, St. Pölten is one of the ones that I really do not necessarily want to go down. A, they have a really nice stadium. B, St. Pölten is only 45 minutes or hour drive. Ah, uh, hour drive. Uh, actually, hour 15 minute drive. <laughs> it's a 45 minute <laughs> It's two hours to Vienna from here in St. Bertrand is a little bit past the half a mark. But you know, it's it's an easy game for, for Lask where you also usually get a home game as well uh, because uh, St. Bertrand is not that big of a city. So uh, just simply for that reason, I actually think that in Niederösterreich, Lower Ost, also, also Austria, St. Bertrand is definitely a better supported team than Admira, which is on the south end of Vienna and barely has any supporters. However, they don't manage. They had a tunnel uh, lead over Altach. Uh, and Altach would have gotten in trouble if they would have lost there too. Um, they had a 3-1 lead in the second half and it's uh, in the 56th minute and you really think they will hang on, but no. Uh, in the 66 and 70 second, Altach makes it 3-3 and more or less that seals St. Pölten going down. However, I also have to say in Austria, being relegated on sporting merit is never a sure sign because there might be something else last season, I think uh, it would have been Tyrol going down and then uh, Mattersburg imploded. So um, there's always this option in Austria uh, too. Austria Vienna gets the first win this season over Hartberg, uh, which as we'll see will move them now in prime position to have a host a home game in a playoff against the second place team, which will be Hartberg, uh, to play then the fifth place team from the uh, upper, from the championship round to uh, qualify for the Europa League playoffs. So big win there. Big win also, also for Lask. All the, literally all the frustration, this is without the captain, without the coach. All the frustration was put onto Wolfsburg, who had this huge win at Rapid and were already mouthing a lot. Now, uh, Lask let them play for 20, 20 minutes, hit them on a car counter attack with Eggestein, scoring another one, then Ramftl with a really beautiful shot outside. Uh, the box in the 26th war, 2-0, Eggestein hits the post from short uh, range. 
it, it didn't get better. I mean, um, Eggestein had, uh, gets on a penalty, make his, makes his uh, three, 3 0, and then they see the game out and still Reiter scoring another one, shutting up the mouthy Wolfsburg players. So at least I think uh, fourth spot is kind of sort of secured for Lusk with that win, although. The upcoming games are not easy because the upcoming games against Salzburg and Rapid, who just played each other and Salzburg winning 2-0 uh, and thus securing the title because this weird system, and we'll talk about the table uh, in, in, in a sec, the weird system with the halving the points and, and so on. They just needed that one point. They get the win. And yeah, con congratulations. I'm not giving you much more uh, than that. So if you see now, now the table, uh, this with having the points is the crucial thing here because um, Sturm Graz has is one of the older it also seems so that's the first tie tiebreaker. So although they are in goal difference worse than Lusk, they are ahead of Lusk because of that. It doesn't make any sense, honestly. To me, it doesn't make any 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 sense because. Um, you got more points in the <laughs> yeah well whatever it is that way and uh, for the same reason also Austria is ahead of Hartberg at this moment. Um, the final round we have as I said Lask against Salzburg, Sturm against Rapid. I think Rapid winning against Sturm would secure themselves the second spot, so uh, that would not be a bad thing for Lask happening. Uh, we also see that St. Pölten is more or less down is between Austria and Hartberg, who will finish first, and Austria is in the driver's seat uh, there. Um, and then, as I said, the last round. Rapid Lask is was built as a big Champions League uh, qualifying playoff. I actually think at the moment the big uh, thing here is the fight in between Lask and Sturm for the spot in the Europa League. Uh, that would be a huge thing. And as I said, Austria and Hartberg for uh, May make into the playoff. School of Germany, as I said, Hertha winning against Schalke 2-1. Uh, I have not seen any highlights, but it must not have been pretty. Schalke actually had a 1-0 lead and uh, the winning goal came, came from Gangkam in the 74th. But as I said, Hertha, that's a pretty, pretty big win because if we look at the standings at this uh, very moment, we see that uh, there are only 1% chance of being relegated, actually get ahead of Augsburg. It's still very much all about the re relegation. Yes, the fight for the top four is interesting, but uh, given the form that Dortmund are in, I could see Dortmund riding that one out. However, on the bottom, there's really, I don't count Augsburg out yet. I think Augsburg really could get dragged into it, um, especially uh, if we look at the upcoming round with Augsburg against Bremen. Uh, must win. I mean, if Bremen for both teams, I mean, Augsburg maybe can afford for a draw, but no, 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 not really. But Augsburg, Bremen, Hertha, Köln, pretty, pretty big ma ma matchups. And Bielefeld also needs to get a result against Hoffenheim, where they have the advantage that Hoffenheim doesn't have much to play for any anymore. As for the Champions League spots, Dortmund plays at Mainz, not easy, uh, although Mainz safe more more or less and Leipzig against Wal 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 Wolfsburg and given that Leip Leipzig just got a beating um, one could expect Eintracht should get a win at Schalke I would say uh, and for the last round we also have Köln should get a win again against, against Schalke so uh, Köln better get a result at Hertha now then they have a real chance uh, because Bielefeld has to play at Stuttgart which is not an easy game and Augsburg has to play at Bayern which is also for sure not an easy game especially if the trophy will be handed out at the end and Mainz plays also against Wolf, Wolfsburg so Mainz have been playing Dortmund, Wolfsburg and Frankfurt they can decide who goes into, into the top four I already alluded to it German Cup final Dortmund, Leipzig um, first, first of all those new Leipzig jerseys look really like there has been blood smeared all over it. I have this uh, picture in my head when I saw this from the 1990 World Cup uh, third place playoff England against Italy where two English players had fully full blooded jerseys. That was this reminded me of. It's not a pretty, pretty look and it also got, got me thinking I really should do a video on how Nike is actually starting to lose it a little bit because now we're going all crazy with the parents, but that will be a dedicated video. The game itself was overall entertaining, but I would say Leipzig, especially for the first half, was 
almost a no show. I mean, uh, it felt I felt like they needed a little bit more guidance. They were they did not rise up to to the occasion, and it didn't help that um, you know. The hood plays it out to San San Sancho and no one is really going to him and he can put it really nicely in that or, or in the fifth minute and that really set everything up nicely. Then Dortmund could hang back a little bit and could he hit hit them on the counter counter again. It was really I thought Marco Reus was excellent. Also Holland, I mean for the second goal, he catches the ball from Campo, gives it to Reus, who then plays it back to him after uh, 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 running down. Then he, as I said, posterize, uh, posterizes uh, Upo Meccano, who just wants to go in there with uh, his body to blow, blow, block him, but he's completely obliterated. And then Holland just calmly puts it into the net and makes it 2-0. At that point, it was really done done and done. That's it. Um, Leipzig then was trying to press, but got called on another counter-attack where Royce perfectly sent Sancho to make it uh, 3-0 at the half. After the half, yes, Leipzig twice hit the woodwork. They got a really nice goal back through Dani Olmo. However, then exactly when you thought that Leipzig might actually go forward and get some sort of something, it is again Holland, who actually in his shot hits himself and it deflects straight into the net. 4-1 Dortmund, deserve it winners. And I have to say Dortmund is in a really, really good form at at the moment they fully deserve winning this tro uh, trophy and you could see it really meant something to the players because they were absolutely happy about that now if they finish top top four i think dortmund season yes disappointment because you thought you could challenge Bayern, but uh the end of it looks really 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 good and maybe if you can keep things together and with marco rose come coming in maybe dortmund can be a challenge again I actually, because they won the trophy, I gave them the number one spot here uh, just for the cup final. I know that Bayern has won the league, but just to let you know. So that was it for me for uh, this Bundesliga uh, and DFB Pokal uh, round. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below. If you want to add in anything that might have might have forgotten, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!